Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload designs to Teespring and publish new products to the Teespring Marketplace. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. Teespring is one of the most popular and trusted print-on-demand platforms out there today. They are constantly making changes and updates to their platform, so I wanted to create an updated video on the upload process. So if you haven't signed up for Teespring yet, go ahead and create your account. Once you sign up and sign in, you should see a red button up top that says Start Designing. Go ahead and click that now. This should take you to a page where you can view all the various products that you can upload your design to on Teespring. This includes all sorts of apparel, accessories, and even digital products. But for this example, I'm just going to start by uploading my design to the unisex men's t-shirt. So let's hover over the shirt here and click on the start with this button. You'll then be taken to the next page where you can view various styles of the unisex men's t-shirts. Teespring has tons of options to choose from, but I'm just going to start with the classic tee. Once you click start designing, you can then view the details of the product that you'll be creating. This includes important information such as the base cost, the available sizes, and where the product ships from. You can also see an outline of the available places on the product where you can place your design. So once you're ready, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on the Start Creating button. This will take you to the page where you can start designing your new product. If you click the buttons here, you can choose to edit the front of the product or the back. For this example, I'm just going to edit the front. To start designing your product, you can use the tools available on the left hand side column here. If you're creating a simple text design, you can use the Add Text button here to add whatever text you like to your product. But for this example, I've already created a new t-shirt design using Canva Pro to add to my product. If you're looking for a fast and easy way to create t-shirt designs, you can access Canva Pro using the link in the video description to access the t-shirt design templates, tons of royalty free images and text templates, and even export your designs with a transparent background to use on your products. By using the link in the video description, you can try Canva Pro free for 30 days. Even if you decide to cancel, you can still create a lot of designs in 30 days. So since I've already created a custom design for my product, let's look at the column on the left hand side and click on the Add Image button. I can then find and open up the new Canva Pro image that I just downloaded. Once your image uploads, you'll see it appear on the product mockup on the right hand side. Since I have a white shirt with white text, it's kind of hard to see my design. So let's go back over to our editing tools and select our product colors. I'm only going to select the colors that work well with this particular design. Since I have white text, I'm obviously not going to select white, but I will select most of the dark colors. Once you've selected all of your colors, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on the done button. Now that I've selected all the colors that actually work well with my design, I can also select the first image that buyers see. If you click on the edit button, you can select which of the colors you want customers to see when they visit your product listing page. You can choose from any of the colors that you selected earlier. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on done. Now that we've added our image and selected our colors, we can now go down and set our prices. You can update your product price in both the US dollar and in euros. Once you update your product price, You'll notice that the profit per sale will update as well on the right hand side here. Once you finish updating your prices, you can then go down and click on continue. And voila, you've just created your first Teespring product. You'll be able to view all the products that you create in the left hand column here. Once you've created your first product, you can easily add your design to other Teespring products as well. As an example, let's add my design to other unisex men's t-shirts. Once you click the Select Styles button, you'll see all the various styles available for men's t-shirts. You can select the styles you want to add your design to, or you can select to add your design to all the styles by selecting the option up here at the top. Once I select all styles, you'll notice the new products appear on the left hand side column here. Once you finish selecting your styles, go ahead and click on Done. You can then select from tons of other products and accessories available on Teespring that you can add your design to as well. Take your time and add all the products that you think your customers may like. Once you've added all your products, go ahead and take a look at your products in the left hand column here. 
It may sound tedious, but it's best to edit each product to make sure your design is in the right location, is the right size, and your product has the correct colors. Once you finish editing your products, go ahead and click on continue. Here's where you can create your product listing by adding your title, description, and your product URL. As you add your listing title and description, you'll see a preview of your listing appear here on the right hand side. If you need help creating your title and description, click the icon at the top right here to check out a video I made on various ways to optimize your Teespring listing. So if we look down here, we can also see all the products that we selected to add our design to. If we go back over to the left hand column here, we can also select the first image that buyers see for each product. If I click on edit, I can select from any of the available background colors. I think I'll leave mine as navy. You can then go down and edit your listing URL. I like to make sure my URL has good keywords related to my design. If everything looks good, you'll see a message that says URL looks perfect. Next, if you plan to sell on the Teespring marketplace, make sure your visibility is set to public. If you've already created a Teespring store, you can select to add your new design to your store by using the drop down menu here. But we'll be creating a new Teespring store in my next Teespring tutorial, so I'll leave this on the I'll add it later option. Once you finish adding all of your information, go ahead and click on the publish listing button. Uploading may take a few moments depending on the number of products you're creating. And there we have it. My new design has been uploaded and my products are now available on Teespring. It may take a while for your products to show up in the Teespring marketplace, but you can view your products at any time by going to your listing URL. From here, customers can view all the products I created with this particular design. If you're a print-on-demand professional or plan to be, I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check out this design. So that's an updated overview of how to upload designs to the products on the Teespring platform. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.